Okay, Kevin, let's talk about Yellow Fest 2 then. Um, it's, a, it's a big event for the club happening on the 7th and 8th of May. Plenty to do for everyone, all the fans, and of course, in a way, we are. We have got something to celebrate, and uh, we need the fans on side for Yellow Fest 2 coming up. Yeah, um, I can't wait. I'm going to take my family. Um, there's just so much to do. There's going to be some fantastic bands on both days. Um, there's entertainment for all of the family. And, and I just think it would just be a little bit of a celebration um, at the end of what's been a long season, um, eventually successful season. But it would just be nice for everybody to get together a little bit, fans of Torquay or not, um, share a little bit of time with myself, the players and, and everybody that can get there and just enjoy some good quality music by some bands that have, have really helped us out to come. Um, and, and it'll just be a great occasion all round. I can't wait. I can't wait to just turn up at the stadium with no pressure and enjoy um, uh, some high quality bands just having fun. Whether you're a Torquay fan, a football fan, or just a music fan, or you just like beer, get yourselves down here because I think it'll be a, a great weekend for everybody involved. Bring the family. I know myself, uh, my family, and, and a few of the players are going to be here. And, and it'll just be nice to be in and around the stadium, see something that you don't see every day. Um, and just be part of a little bit of a celebration after a, a long, hard season. Of course, we had Yellow Fest last season. With these sort of things, it's all a learning process. We've learned plenty last time, um, including this time around, we've actually got like a taxi rank at the club so people can get access very easily. Mr Jamie Sinclair has made sure that uh, this is going to run uh, like clockwork. And I just think that um, with everything lined up like that, with the uh, the organisation uh, as well as what it's been, and like you say, we've learned from our mistakes, um, I just think it's going to be a fantastic weekend. Um, and just, like I said, a little bit of fun, uh, a little bit of uh, excitement and something a bit different. An important thing, I guess, under 12s 12, 12 are free with adults, so they they're going to have plenty to do as well. Yeah, well, there's going to be plenty of stuff for the family. Um, there's going to be plenty of entertainment away from the music. There's going to be some good food. There's going to be some good drink. And there's going to be something for everybody. So I just think that it's uh, it's well worth a go. Um, I'll just talk about some of the bands we have. Uh, we've got the Steve Craddock bands on 7th of May. Steve Craddock, obviously part of Ocean Colour Scene. So, so some great memories, I'm sure, for a lot of fans with that band. And then on the 8th of May, we've got Oasis who are going to bring the big noise uh, to the Lorna Window Stadium. Yeah, well, I think um, any any Oasis, after what they did uh, uh, back in the day, and, and this band are endorsed by Oasis themselves. I mean, they are the biggest cover band in Europe, um, and I think it will just be a, a fantastic experience. If they can live up to half of what Oasis were like live, we'll do all right. So we've got music, we've got a uh, drink, we've got food, we've got everything. Uh, Saturday the 7th and 8th of May, it's going to be a great event. Get yourself down there.